Well, it seems like the fertilizer worked. Hey guys, welcome to the Lawn Fix. If you're here to feed your lawn addiction, you've come to the right place. So today is gonna be a quick video. It's been about a month since I fertilized the lawn, so it's nice and green and thick. And just to show you where we've come from, where just to show you where we've come from, I'm gonna throw up this video. This was around October. And I'll be honest with you, I didn't have much faith that the grass was gonna look this good. And I even considered uh, renovating to Bermuda lawn. Um, but I don't know. I don't think I should kill this off. We'll see in the middle of August to see how I feel about it. But uh, yeah, so I'm not gonna do the Bermuda renovation for now because finances, I feel like it's the responsible thing to do considering where we're at in this country with the virus. So I'm gonna put that on hold and I'm going to see if I can make this fescue survive the summer here in Georgia. So that being said, let's cue the montage. Here's a pro tip, bought this for $10 and I keep keep my mow schedule always written down so that I remember when was the last time I mowed. Also the yardage, um, things that you normally think about the most when you're working on your yard. This is a good little neat trick that I do is just, by, just write it down. Love this grass type but it is pain in the butt to mow on hills so looking good so recap i'm not going to do the bermuda renovation at least this year i'm going to see how it does in the summer i've learned a lot from last year one of which is don't water as much and uh let it stress out a little bit um disease is the thing that's going to kill your lawn quicker than the heat that's for sure because i had pythium and within a week my whole lawn was wiped so i'm gonna be careful with the watering this year for instance this spot i probably never have to water ever because it does not get dry because of the slope i wanted to show you something something that i do a lot is that typically because of tall grass it really gets matted down in here sometimes like this and this is just a prime uh, area for disease and things like that so before i mow i typically just go around with my little little right tool here and I just kind of pull all that dead stuff out of there and also it stands up you see how much taller that this blade is it's because it's been matted down under there so it just fluffs it up a little bit this is two weeks after my initial uh, mow that you just saw and uh, this is not in consecutive order but today I want to put down a fertilizer that I purchased that I want to talk about. This is, I believe, a herbicide burn. I think I put a little too much in this area. But yeah, it's looking great. Nice and thick. So today I'm going to talk about this product that I bought by a company called Carbon... What is it called? Carbon Earth Company. And it's a... 
fertilizer you cannot get at a box store. This is more for the DIY person. This is called Carbon uh, Carbon X. It's a type of fertilizer. I'm a big fan of supporting small and local businesses, so I really want to try this out. But it's also a great, great product. <coughs> now, you might be asking, why am I fertilizing? It's green already. Why? What? It can't get any greener. Well. Everything I've been doing since October, everything from putting down liquids to fertilizing to mowing and mow every four days, everything I've been doing is to prepare it for two months out of the year, summer. Summer is one of the hardest times for any grass type, even warm season grasses. If you don't water, your warm season grasses will, will struggle. But in particular, this is a cool season grass that likes cold weather. So in about in the summertime, it struggles big time. So what I'm gonna be doing is packing on the pounds, so to speak, um, so that uh, it stores the energy into the roots um, and just get it ready for the summertime. And uh, this is a 24% nitrogen, 0% uh, phosphorus, and 4% potassium. So. I'm excited about it because it has uh, hardwood biochar and which like I mentioned in the past makes for little uh, housing complexes for for uh, nitrogen. N nitrogen in general doesn't in the ground does not last very long because it has biochar it's gonna kind of house the nitrogen kind of like a little apartment so it doesn't wash away it's going to be available for the roots when it's ready to take it versus a sort of like a fast release nitrogen that you might get from a box store that is just like like pasta they, they get a big surge of energy and then it just goes down so this will kind of slow release will keep it kind of uh, fed throughout the throughout the weeks and the months i'm going to put this down and then i will show you the results in a week or so so stay tuned, Carbon X by Carbon Earth Company. Check them out.